Hey everybody, it's Mark Cabana here, and in this video, I'm going to go over creating and running reputation reports using Places Scout's new reputation management module. Before getting started, I'd like to make a quick note that if you can, uh, please try to use Firefox as the selected browser setting in Places Scout um, for best results. Uh, you can try to use Google Chrome, but from my testing, uh, Firefox just seemed to produce more consistent and reliable results than uh, Google Chrome did. So um, if you can, uh, please try to install uh, Firefox and use that as the selected browser setting in the uh, data gathering heading of the settings in Places Scout. So let's get started. To create a new reputation report, you simply go to the Reputation tab of Places Scout and you click on the New button to create a new reputation report. After doing that, you'll see a window that's going to ask you for some report data for the given report. Now I've segmented the process of creating reputation reports into various steps to make it as easy as possible. So step one is to enter a reputation report name. Now typically this is the name of the business. So I'm going to enter in the name of the business that I'm going to create this reputation report for, uh, Permani Brothers 2. Um, step two is to enter in the Google Plus local page ID for the business. Um, this is a very important step and I'm going to show you how to locate this ID now. Um, so if I go to the browser and I search for a, a keyword that this um, business is going to rank for, we'll do a restaurants uh, Pittsburgh. Okay, I'm going to see uh, Permani Brothers is the uh, business I'm going to create this report for. Uh, so what I want to do now is to visit the uh, business's uh, Google Plus local page. Um, so I'm going to click on this uh, 286 Google Reviews link here to uh, go to their Google Plus local page. To find the Google Plus local page ID, you want to look in the URL of the browser for their Google Plus local page. Um, so here's the uh, URL for their Plus local page. Now the plus local page ID is this long uh, number you're going to see in the URL um, in between the slashes. Um, so this is the uh, business's Google plus local page ID. So what you want to do is copy this number to the clipboard, go back to Places Scout and paste it in step two, uh, enter the business's Google plus local page ID. Next is step three, uh, to click this button here to auto populate the business's information. Uh, so when you click this button, uh, Places Scout's going to visit the uh, business's Google Plus local page and uh, gather all the data from the page and auto-populate um, all the information that you see down here in step four, uh, which is to verify the business's information. So for step four, uh, you just basically want to make sure that the uh, information in each one of these boxes is correct for the given business. Um, so you want to make sure the business name is correct, uh, the full business address is correct. Um, the full business address is essentially all the parts of the address uh, separated by commas on one line. Um, the street address, the city, state, uh, zip code, phone number, and site URL are all correct for the given business. If you need to make any changes to this information, you can do so by editing the information manually. And I'm actually going to do that because uh, this particular business, while um, Google has them listed on a 46 per many way, um, they're actually on all the other sites uh, such as Yelp, TripAdvisor, Urban Spoon. Um, those sites have this business uh, listed on 46 18th Street. So I'm going to actually change their full business address and uh, street address. That way uh, Places Scout can accurately locate the uh, listing URLs for this business. Which brings us to the next step of creating a reputation report, and that's the Review Sites tab. Now please pay close attention to this step, as this is probably the most important step in creating a reputation report. So next we're going to go to the Review Sites tab here. And what Places Scout uh, needs here is it needs the uh, URLs to the business's uh, review listings on each of the uh, supported review sites. So um, down here you're going to see boxes for Yelp listing URL, TripAdvisor listing URL, and so forth. So in these boxes, what we need is the URLs to the business's listings on each of these sites. Now I've actually created a pretty neat feature that allows Places Scout to automatically locate the review site listing URLs for each of the supported review sites. So all you need to do to start this process is to uh, click this step one, click here to auto-populate review site listing URLs. And when you do that, you're going to get a status window that's going to uh, show you what Places Scout's doing here. So I uh, moved these windows out of the way so you can see what's going on. Uh, but basically, uh, what Places Scout's going to do is it's going to do a, a site search on Yelp, TripAdvisor, Kudzu, and so forth. And it's going to try to find the uh, listing on each of these sites. So you can see here, as it does this, it's going to go through, and as it finds the uh, URLs, it's going to tell you whether or not they were found or not found. So um, you can see here, it's uh, basically trying to locate these uh, review site listings. Um, and it's going to tell you uh, whether found it or not found it. So I'll be back whenever this process is done. 
Okay, so after the process is complete, you're going to see this message box that says Review Site Listing URL Gathering Complete. Please verify each listing found to ensure that it is the actual review site listing page for the business and make any changes if necessary. It's also going to tell you that you can click this magnifying glass icon to bring this listing up in your browser and that if the listing URL is not the right one for the business, uh, please find the URL and enter it manually. Um, so I'm going to go over the URLs that it found now. So after it's complete, um, basically for each supported review site, uh, you're going to see a box that has a, a listing URL in it. So here's the uh, business's uh, listing URL for Yelp that uh, Place of Scout found. Um, so what you want to do here is you want to actually verify that each of these is accurate because um, the algorithm is pretty good, but you know sometimes it might not actually find the right URL, though it is uh, pretty accurate. But um, what you want to do is uh, just simply click the magnifying glass here, and it's going to bring that listing up in your browser. And you just kind of want to make sure that this is the actual listing page for the business. You want to make sure it's the uh, main listing page, not like a map page or a search page or anything like that. Um, it kind of has to be the main listing page for the business on uh, each of these uh, review sites. Um, that way Places Scout can accurately gather the reviews for the business. So um, as we scroll down here, you'll see all the supported review sites and all the uh, URLs found. Um, now you can actually open all these up in your browser at once. So you can click the uh, All button up here, and it's going to open each of these up in your browser. So you can uh, basically look at them all at once. But um, you know, go through all these URLs and just make sure they're the right ones for the business. Um, you'll see that uh, you know sometimes it might not be able to find the uh, listing URL for the business, and if it does have a listing URL on, say, Zagat. Uh, what you want to do is you want to locate that listing URL manually and you want to paste it into this box. And since I believe that this business actually does have a Zagat listing, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So if I go to my browser here, I'm going to open up a new tab and go to Google and I'm just going to type in P-R-I-M-A-N-T-I, Primanti, uh, Zagat. And uh, okay, so here's the uh, listing on Zagat for Primanti Brothers. So um, this looks like the right listing page, so I'm going to just copy this URL, and then I'm going to go back to Place of Scout and I'll paste it in this box here. So I'll scroll down here. Um, this business doesn't have an open table or demand force listing. Um, so again, just make sure that the URLs found here are the actual ones for the business on each of the supported review sites. That way uh, you don't run into any problems where Place of Scout cannot gather the reviews for each of these sites. And the algorithm to gather these uh, review site listing URLs, you know, it's pretty good, but you can see how it didn't uh, find that Zagat one. Um, so uh, that one I just searched for manually and pasted it in. Um, and the reason I made that change to the uh, business address before was uh, because Place of Scout uses the business address information and phone number to locate these listings. So um, the more accurate that is across the uh, third-party review sites, the uh, better probability you're going to have that Place of Scout is actually going to be able to successfully find the uh, review site listing URL for each of the uh, supported review sources. So next, we'll move on to the social media tab. Um, and essentially what you want to paste in here is uh, the URLs to the business's uh, Facebook fan page as well as their Twitter page if they have one. Um, you don't have to enter these in if you don't want, but if they do have a fan page, um, Places Scout can uh, basically harvest all the posts from their fan page as well as their uh, Twitter page. Um, so again, you can locate these manually, or uh, typically they're on the business's website, but I'm just going to type in uh, Permani Facebook um, to locate this. So okay, here we go. Here's their uh, Facebook page. Um, so this is the uh, page we want um, to put into Places Scout here. So I'm going to paste that in the uh, Facebook fan page URL. Um, they don't have a Twitter URL, so I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And the last step for creating a reputation report is optional, but if you go to the Report Scheduling tab, uh, you can tell Places Scout to uh, run this reputation report on a periodic basis. Uh, so there's different uh, recurrence patterns. You can choose to run it hourly, daily, uh, weekly, and monthly uh, with various options for each of the different recurrence patterns. So um, this allows you to run this report on a periodic basis. Uh, depending on how you configure it to run. So I can select uh, how many days I want it to run, run every one day, two day, three days, uh, what time of day to run it, um, the start and end date. So um, if you want to schedule the report to run uh, on a recurring basis, uh, you can use the report scheduling tab to do so.
So that's pretty much it for creating a reputation report. Um, I do want to note two other things. Um, if you uh, forget how to locate the business's uh, Google Plus local page ID, uh, there's a link here that you can click, and it's going to pull up a uh, knowledge base article on my support uh, portal that will uh, explain to you how to locate that. Um, there's also a link up here that has a little icon. Um, if you want to bring up this video in your browser, you can uh, click on that icon, and it will uh, display this video again. And just to reiterate again, uh, please make sure that you uh, do this uh, Review Sites tab and you click the Auto Populate button to uh, get all the site listing URLs to each review site and that you manually verify that each of these URLs is the proper listing page for the given business. Um, if you don't have this set up right, then Places Scout will not be able to find the reviews on uh, each of these sites. So, um, you know, take some time and make sure that you have the report set up right. That way you can get the best possible results using the uh, Reputation Management module. So now that I got all the data entered properly for the reputation report, um, the last step is simply to click the Create New Reputation Report button. And when you do that, you'll see the report will be added to the list of reputation reports here um, in the box that uh, is under the Reputation Reports tab. The next thing I want to note is that you are entitled to creating up to 10 reputation reports for each license of Places Scout. Um, so you can create and run and manage up to 10 reputation reports. Um, if you need to create more than 10 reputation reports, please open a support ticket using my uh, support portal and uh, note how many reports you'd like to use and uh, we will provide you with a quote on uh, how much that will cost. Uh, it's not going to be a lot of money, but um, you know, if you're using this uh, reputation management module to uh, manage hundreds of thousands of clients, you know, I'm going to charge you a little bit more for that. So uh, just bear in mind that you cannot create any more than 10 reputation reports per license. And if you need more, uh, simply uh, request it in the support portal and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with uh, pricing for that. So the next step after creating the report is to run it. And to do that, you simply click the Run Report button down here. Uh, you'll get a status window that tells you what Places Scout is doing, as well as uh, how many reviews it's found. So um, you'll see it's going to go to their Plus Local page first, and it's going to gather all the reviews. So um, again, if you can, try to use Firefox. I just uh, find it to be more reliable than Chrome. Um, a lot of these sites have a lot of weird Ajax and different things going on where um, Firefox just seems to be able to handle that a little bit better than Chrome does. You know, it's the exact same code that controls the browser for uh, both browsers. It's just one seems to work a little bit better than the other. So um, you can see this uh, run, um, and you shouldn't really see any huge delays while this is doing this. Um, you see here now it's going to Yelp. Um, so if uh, if you see any like big delays while it's gathering this information, um, there might be some problems with your browser. So uh, open up a support ticket and let us know, and we can uh, further troubleshoot that for you. So I'm going to let this run, and when it's done, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so Places Scout is done running the reputation report. And I just want to note that on average it takes anywhere between 5 minutes to uh, 30 minutes to run each reputation report, uh, pretty much depending upon how many reviews the business has on each review site. Um, if you find these reports taking hours to run, then there's something wrong with your browser, and um, you want to open up a support ticket so we can provide you with some troubleshooting on uh, how to fix that. Now after you're done running the reputation report, um, you're going to see an entry in the select report run box down here that's going to show you the uh, date and time that the report was run. So I'm actually going to go to one of my reports that I've run many times um, because what I want to show you is that each time you run one of these reports, um, you're going to see an entry in this box that's going to show you the date and time that it was run and that uh, Places Scout actually indexes this uh, data it gathers historically. So if you wanted to see the reviews that you had on, uh, say, uh, 7-26-2012, um, you can simply click on these different report runs to uh, view the data for that given report run. Um, so it might take some time to uh, switch between different report runs because it's got to uh, uh, repopulate the UI and uh, read all that information from disk. So um, it is normal for a little lag there. But um, I do want to note that you know the, the data is uh, stored historically, so you can go back over time to view uh, historical review data that was gathered with this module. And the last thing I'll note that is if uh, for whatever reason a given report run goes south and it doesn't seem to gather all the reviews, um, you can actually click on this uh, one of these report runs here. Um, and you can see here I was actually doing some testing. So it, uh, I ran a quick run where I only gathered the first page of reviews. So it only gathered 56 reviews. Um, so if I wanted to get rid of this report run, say, because it didn't seem like it ran right, I can just uh, simply right-click on it and say, uh, Delete Selected Reputation Report Run. And uh, what it's going to do is uh, delete that run from the list, and it's going to recompute any of the changes over time. So, um, you know, if you have a bad report run or, you know, the browser didn't work right, uh, you can just simply delete that run by right-clicking on it and choosing to delete it. 
So that's it for this tutorial video where I covered how to create and run reputation reports. Um, I've actually split the uh, analyzing the reputation report data into a separate video. Uh, so please watch that video next so uh, you can learn how to uh, view and analyze the data gathered. And I uh, thank you for taking your time for watching this video and hope you found it useful. And uh, just make sure that you have your reputation report set up properly so that uh, Place of Scale can properly harvest all the reviews. Um, so that's it. Uh, thank you for taking your time to watch this and uh, have a great day. Bye now.